Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this purple eyeliner and purple lashes. This is just a bit of fun for the summer. It's really nice and subtly coloured, so it's a nice change from wearing black. This is great if you've got summer parties to go to, summer festivals, or you just want to change up your everyday makeup. For the eyeliner, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. And I'm taking the Silk Bomber shade, which is this really nice flat purple tone. It's almost got a pinky undertone to it. Whereas the eyelashes have more of a blue undertone to the purple, so this is a nice contrast between the two. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Swish Brush to create the eyeliner. The consistency works well, it is slightly thicker than your regular eyeliner, so it doesn't go on quite as fluid as say a liquid liner or a gel eyeliner, but it's just fluid enough to create a defined line. You can smoke this out if you want it to be slightly softer, just make sure you work with it quickly because it does set in place. If you have slightly hooded eyes or smaller lid space, you can use a purple eyeshadow. You don't have to use something that mimics an eyeliner. You can create something very soft, you can use a pencil. The options are completely up to you. This is just what I decided to go for. I am creating a wing because I have the lid space to create it. I understand not everybody does, so you can keep this rounded. You don't have to create a wing. However, if you do want to, this is again slightly thicker, so it is ever so slightly harder to create a crisp line with it. That being said, before it sets in place, get a small liner brush or an angled liner brush and just tidy up along the edge. You don't even need concealer on it. Just go over the edge and it will crisp up. And as you can see, it looks perfect. If you missed last week's tutorial, I uploaded a look on blue eyelashes, which was quite popular. You guys did enjoy it and I've had lots of people recreating it. So I will link that on the top right hand corner for you. A little tip for you, if you don't have a purple eyeliner, you don't have a purple pencil, but you do have a shadow, however you want it to look more like an eyeliner, you can mix it with a product called Duraline, which is by Inglot, and it's a mixing medium and you can use that to create any coloured eyeshadow that you want. You just mix it with your powdered eyeshadow, scrape a little bit off onto a palette or onto something that's a flat surface, mix one drop of the Inglot Duraline with it. That will make it waterproof and also very fluid and you can use it as an eyeliner. I could have really mixed it with this product just to make it a little bit more fluid because as you can see, it's definitely slightly harder on your opposite eye because it drags a little, but it still works really well. I'm gonna use a purple eyeliner along the waterline. This one is by Rimmel. I will list and link all the products I've used in the description bar provided that they are still available. As you can see this one is a slightly cooler, darker purple than the eyeliner that we've got on top which again is a great contrast between the two. It just gives the whole look dimension considering it's super simple. Rimmel is more of an affordable brand so the actual product itself does take a couple of goes over the eye to really get the payoff but it's a nice colour and I wanted to work with something that was a bit more affordable considering the Huda Beauty is not exactly high street pricing. I'm using my Smudger Brush by Sigma just to soften the eyeliner underneath the lower eyelashes. I rub the bristles onto the pencil itself and then I'm using that on the skin underneath to create a softer finish. However, if you have access to a purple eyeshadow, you can just do this underneath the lower eyelashes. I just thought I'd keep it simple by using the same product. Today I'm using the Lash Base Pro FX Full Glam Eyelashes in the shade Purple. And I'm using a mix of medium and large, and as you can see, they come on a ribbon. I do have a tutorial on how to apply these ribbon eyelashes, which I will link on the screen for you now. I'm starting off with a medium on the outer corner because I don't want to look like Daisy the cow where they're too long and droop down. So a medium and then I move on to large. The beauty about working with ribbon eyelashes is that you can create the width that you want to work with. So if you don't want to apply too many sections, you can just cut a slightly wider width and apply less of them. What you do need to bear in mind is that the eye is curved, so with that curvature, if the section is too long, it won't curve naturally with the eye and therefore won't sit quite as nice. So just bear that in mind when you are cutting your sections. I often tend to work with five sections, usually two medium and three large, a medium on the outer corner, a medium on the very inner corner, because these are the areas that I want to be the shortest, and then three sections of large throughout the center. 
Lash Base Pro FX lashes start at extra small and go up to extra large. So if you have quite mature eyes or slightly smaller lid space or just smaller eyes in general and you need shorter lashes or that's your preference, go with the extra small. And then if you are somebody that really wants something extravagant, you can go up to extra large. I obviously go with what works for my eye shape. If my lids get smaller as I age, then I would downsize to a smaller medium rather than medium and large. And it's that simple, it's so easy to do. Purple eyeliner, purple lashes for something that's subtly fun, but not over the top. It's not as bright as the blue eyelashes. It's like having the black mascara, black eyelashes, but without being so harsh. And it's almost something that you could probably miss if you didn't have the purple eyeliner to match. So why not have a play with these Profex eyelashes? Don't forget to use my discount code if you want to give them a try for yourself. Please give this tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will listen link everything I've used in the description bar. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Come follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram at Makeup, and I'll see you in a couple of days for another video. Bye guys!